Well, hello, Capricorn. This is your December 2018 reading. Uh, Capricorn, we're going to first start out with the fact that you may be involved with an Aries. You could be involved with a Libra. You could be involved with a Virgo. Um, I'm also picking up energies around a Gemini, a Taurus. So I don't know what's happening with you, Capricorn, as far as your energy level. It seems that you have either changed your mind about something or you have turned your back on someone. Uh, it feels like you are no longer going to deal with dishonesty. Um, I also feel like there is something in reference to someone hiding something from you, somebody kept something from you, uh, or somebody um, is also holding back from you. It feels like you had a lover in your life who decided to make a sudden change, a sudden move, uh, a sudden decision, which out of opinion from the universe is stating that was a poor decision that they made. Someone chose to either walk away from you or to end something with you. Either way, the end result was you being by yourself. Um, this person uh, seemed to uh, have a lot of uh, animosity in some way and also some type of resentment toward you. Um, the energies that I pick up with them, for whatever reason, they felt to be very judgmental and it feels like they always were picking at something or uh, someone, one way or the other, uh, always creating some type of havoc or argument in, in such a way. Um, I do get the Emperor card around the person that you were involved with, and this seems to be somebody who sits very strongly on their throne. Um, they, they seem to be a very good-looking person. Uh, now, we could be talking male or female. However, I, I do feel that we are speaking of a male at this point in time. So maybe I am speaking to you all here in reference to this person um, being a looker, meaning somebody who catches other people's eyes easily. And you already knew this. Um, also, too, a bit of a flirt. And this person also is a know-it-all, meaning that they don't feel like they're ever wrong in a situation. Also, too, this could represent the sign of Aries. Just saying. Okay, so... I, I feel like, you know, with that card, it feels like... Uh, somebody is watching over something. So when he sits on the throne that way, or when they sit, she, he, whatever, sits on the throne that way, they are... <clears throat> looking over everything. I do feel like you have a partner who is watching still, even after a breakup, watching still what you do, who you're with, where you go. No, not 24-7, but as often as they can. Maybe before work they ride past your house. Maybe after work they ride past your house. Um, maybe they have friends or someone who lives around you that can keep an eye on things, that they can ask questions to. Um, I also feel like this person is definitely trying to push their power they were very controlling in a relationship. They were definitely trying to manipulate you in a certain way. Um, I do feel like, you know, this person may have been uh, at one point in time working toward the goal of being with you and creating a life with you. I do feel that. But at the same time, um, I feel like sometimes this person's ambitions uh, went to great heights and I feel like uh, their leadership capability was very strong at some point. However, I feel like they, they took that for granted. I feel like they didn't get humble enough, and now the universe had to set them back. Um, so I do feel like this person who you were involved with is involved in a bit of a setback. Maybe they are having a bit of a tower moment themselves. Something is coming to light for them. They are finally starting to realize maybe a mistake that they had made. Um, I do feel that this person can and sometimes was very nurturing and could be very kind and filled with love. I do feel like they knew exactly when to turn on the love button and when to turn on the cocky attitude, more or less, um, or the, um, the bossy type of, of um, personality. It felt like there was a, um, a reason for structure to be changed or... Um, rules to be ch changed or lifted when this person did something that was uncharacteristic, unacceptable, um, 
um, very very selfishly, they did something or accepted something or performed a certain act or they cheated, they lied, they, whatever. Uh, whatever this person did, they felt that the rules did not apply to them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They felt that nothing applies to them when they mess up. But when you mess up, they got two hands, two fingers pointing at you that you were the one, okay? You were the one who did whatever. I, I do feel like, you know, sometimes this person can act rational, sometimes very irrational. Okay, so whatever you had to deal with, it seems like there was a lot of ups and downs. When I'm getting this energy, I feel like a lot of ups and downs, a lot of back and forth, um, a lot of circles. Circles. When I say talking in circles, I mean circles, meaning that, you know, one lie went to another lie, went to another lie, went to another lie. Okay, first they're in your life, then they go out of your life. Then they come and then they go. And then they come back and then they leave. They come back, they have intimacy with you, they talk you into it, they convince you, they act like they're going to stay, boom, the next morning they're gone. They're gone, and another two weeks, three weeks, a month, maybe two months goes by. Nothing. No contact, no communication, no text messages. No response when you're trying to contact them. I do feel like there was definitely justice justice in a situation. Okay, so not sure how all of that went about, but I do feel that justice was very important here. So with the justice card... And, and we know that the justice was cause and effect, right? Clarity and truth. Okay, so was the clarity and truth brought to you? Okay, um, you know, as, as she or he sits in the highest chair, the scales, okay, um, letting her intuition guide her, letting his intuition guide him, whichever way this seems to work. There is a double-edged sword here in the right hand, okay? The clarity through, through which is required to dispense justice are symbolized by the square on the crown that she wears, okay? Behind her, there's a purple cloak, you see it? And standing gray pillars. Beneath her, a red cloak, which is held together by a clasp. She shows the tip of a white shoe. This is a spiritual reminder that she, was, that she delivers the outcome of their action, okay? So that's the reminder, okay? But please understand that judgment will be made fairly and accordingly, okay? So for the universe to come in and weigh down on this, it is going to balance things out, again, accordingly and fairly, all right? I feel like there is definitely something or someone has wronged you in a situation. Um, the card's appearance itself may bring you some type of relief. It may show you. Uh, that, on the other hand, uh, if your actions caused any pain to others, the card serves as a warning, okay? So for them, I feel like this card is more for your partner than for you because of the pain that they caused. So now this card is showing as a warning for them, okay? There is a chance for you uh, or for them to change and to change actions now for a better future. They are getting this message clearly from the universe, I believe, that they need to change focus. They need to change direction with their thought process and their choices. And I also feel like they're going to make positive changes in order to correct something in a situation between the two of you. I do get that the truth will come to pass. The truth will come out in one way or the other. There is going to be a way for the truth to set you free, one way or the other. Either it's going to set you free that you're going to choose to walk away from a situation, okay, or you're going to understand what your risks are if you decide to stay. You know, you have to figure out a way to make up for your wrongs. Um, taking action will give you a chance to change and to stop judging yourself because you did not do anything wrong in the situation. I do feel, however, the broken heart that came from the situation was something that took you back, and it took you back quite a few steps. But now you've gotten your second breath. Now you're curious and wondering what they're doing, and right now they are still being selfish, doing things for themselves. Some of them are with other people, other partners. Some of them are just stuck on who they want to be, still trying to figure out who they want to be when they grow up. Some of them are refusing to accept what the universe is offering them, okay? Some of them are refusing to accept what the universe is offering them, all right? They're not willing to look at 
in the face. They're not willing to understand that an unexpected hand is reaching out from the universe saying, here, I want to show you love. I want to show you how to have a good life. I want to show you the way to be. I want to show you, um, you know, how to give love as well as receive love. But right now they're in a know-it-all state. Okay, right now they're in a know-it-all state. In a way, they seem like they are playing in the magician field. And when I say the magician, it does feel like where the magician is concerned, it's, it's telling me that tricks may be there, uh, deception may be there. It is also saying that um, it's maybe a rather complicated situation going on right now. Um, but the, sum is, the sum is, summar, summarization sorry, is that the earth uh, reflects heaven. Okay, the outer world reflects within. All right. Um, earth reflects God because God is the one who created the whole earth, right? So when you look at the earth, it, it reflects God. It can also be interpreted here that magician symbolizes the ability to act as a go-between between between the world above and the contemporary human world, okay? So maybe this person, you know, is wearing different suits of armor. Maybe this person... Um, also wields all the suits of the tarot, you know, because this person symbolizes the four elements being connected by this magician. The four elements being earth, water, air, and fire, right? The infinity sign on his head indicates the infinite possibilities of creation within the will. So, you know, manifesting and trying to create something is either what they are doing or what you are doing. I do feel like there has been a loss of communication due to the secrets that have gone on in the past. I do feel like for the month of December, you are going to have secrets revealed, okay? You are going to be the Queen of Swords. You will not tolerate or accept anything different, okay? You will not accept anything less. You will not ne let nothing threaten your throne. You are no longer going to allow someone to treat you the way they've been treating you. Yes, you have stepped back from a situation. Yes, they are going to come toward you. Yes, they are going to make an offer to you. Yes, you are going to be up in your head at night trying to make a decision, fighting over heart versus mind. Your heart versus your mind. You're not going to be able to make a solid decision without taking advantage of the opportunity to get away. You may have to get away. Maybe you and your partner may need to get away to take a break, okay? You may need to figure things out. You may need to get away from people, places, and things in order to do this. I do feel like there are challenges here for you. However, I do feel that with the judgment card, things are going to be judged fairly, okay? There is not going to be anything crooked here. I also do feel that in the past, your partner, sure enough, did have plenty of options around, they also did take advantage of some of these. But I can tell you that there is going to be a new lesson, a new lesson found. There is going to be uh, blessings coming your way. So if you are at all suspicious on whether or not you should consider taking this person back or you should consider moving on without them, that is your personal choice. However, I can tell you that, you know, there is an, an opportunity for new beginnings to come with this person. Okay, there is a chance for new growth. They do want the start of a new beginning. However, however, look closely at what you currently have, okay? Look closely at what you currently have. Be sure this is something that you want to share with them, okay? And be sure that what they're coming to offer is equally valued to what they want to give with you as to what you're giving. Make sure you have equal value. Make sure that the options are now eliminated. Make sure that now he is focused or she is focused on a choice of one person, okay? Again, I get that somebody, especially the queen, is holding all her love, okay? With the queen of cups again coming up. She's holding all her love and she's trying to make a decision on who is going to get all her love. Who is she finally going to invest in? Who is she really going to make that final decision with? I do feel you have to be careful with the seven of swords, because somebody may be trying to rob you of something, maybe trying to take something advantage of you, maybe trying to take things that they gave you back. There's also indication of a five of swords, okay? So somebody may have finished a battle, may have walked away from something, may have put their swords down, not wanting to fight anymore, but they're still holding on to one because they don't feel secure unless they have one still with them. This may be still one option that they're saving for another time in case things don't work out with you. Um, I do feel like messages are coming, 
okay? When I got the Nine of Pentacles, there are messages coming for you, and they will come in quickly and swiftly. They will give you the note that you need to hear. A little birdie, a little birdie is going to whisper in your ear and let you know what you need to know so that you can get to this new beginning. But at the same time, some of you are still feeling trapped and stuck in a situation. Some of you don't recognize exactly what's being offered. You can't identify that that's a fish for sure. Okay, some of you cannot. Some of you are still dealing with your partner's or your, your own addictions. Okay, alcohol, drugs, sex, porn, whatever, gambling, whatever their addiction seems to be. You still have this very strong emperor feeling around. You have this person who feels to be wanting to take control, wants to make the rules for you, but is not applying them to themselves. They are not practicing what they preach. Be careful of this person. This person is definitely a take charge kind of person. Yes, they can be sweet. Yes, they can be kind. But at the same time, they can flip that switch real quick. Okay, be careful of the tricks that could come with the magician. Be careful. Yes, he can create beautiful things. He can also create illusions and doubts. So be very careful. All right, and the final outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like blessings are coming your way. I do feel like what comes around goes around. And I do feel like those who sowed dirty seeds, meaning mean, nasty, ugly, will reap that same karma. That is going to come one way or the other. So please remember to always put positive in. There will be a lot of traveling going for you. There was, There is going to be a lot of traveling coming and going back and forth. Final outcome will be a celebration. Maybe due to an ending and a fresh start, or maybe fixing what was going on before, and now you are going to have a celebration with you and your partner, okay? So, that is what I got for you for the month of December. We will do a mid-month coming up. Stay tuned.